my name is Shrey Ninzi and I feel like I need to just play with makeup, have a chat with you guys, sit down and fix this hair. I was actually taking my braids out. I want to show you guys what my hair looks like right now. It is pretty faded. It almost looks gray. There we go. Can you kind of see what it looks like? And then the red parts are parts where the blue didn't take. So here is what we are working with. This is what we're working with. I still have hydrocolloid bandage. I have a huge cyst right here. And I get... I went to Sally's and I was asking the lady there, she was super nice, um, about what color I should do. And she said, oh, have you ever tried the Ira Iro? brand she's like I know someone who like swears by this one of the co-workers and I was like oh my gosh let's, let me try it out so I'm gonna try this color out is in the color turquoise so we're gonna see how this goes but here is what we're working with we are back and I did one eye off of camera I realized I haven't used these new Sigma palettes these like I think they're called like the to go Sigma eyeshadow palettes and then this one is in the the shade range ivy oh my gosh is this not the coolest palette ever i think this is really really fun so i just wanted to play with this i'm going to be trying these huda beauty stick foundations i know these aren't new but i've never tried them before and i also have the juvia's place concealer on my eyelids i haven't used this in a really long time so i wanted to test this out so i'll probably use that a little bit later i have just some eyeshadow primer on and then i have the juvia's place concealer on my eyelid. I'm just blending that out here. Go ahead and do this tutorial real quick and I'll show you guys my hair at the end. I think it's gonna look really interesting. I'm excited to see the end result and I haven't told my boyfriend that I dyed my hair. I'm taking the color med. All these really fun browns are really cool and I'm taking the Sigma E38 and putting that in my crease. This look definitely turned out a lot darker than I was expecting it to. <laughs> so there's that. I wanted it to be more of like, I don't know, a pop of blue, but it ended up turning into like a nighttime look. So that's what we're dealing with. Mm -hmm. Next, I'm going in with the shade Thistle with a E39. It's a beautiful dark blue. Packing that in the outer corner. And then I'm blending that out with the shade Bourbon, which is, it's like a cool toned brown. And I'm using a Sigma E25 uh, brush. And then I'm just going back and forth, you know, and making sure to blend all the colors together. Using a E54 eyeshadow brush, I'm going in with the shade Inspire, which is a dark bronze, and that's going uh, over my lid. And then with my finger, I'm going in with the shade Macaron. Macaron. Mm -hmm. And that's going in the center of my lid, just to kind of brighten. This look turned out a lot darker than I wanted it to, but that's what happens sometimes when you're playing with eyeshadow for the first time. So let's dive into the face products. I'm gonna be trying, I think I've tried this one other time. This is the Tula Skincare Brighten Up Smoothing Primer Gel. So I'm gonna use this, like it's weird. It's kind of like the Touch and Soul Primer Gel where it's like a gel consistency. I have some big cysts on my chin right now. Ugh. I'm also gonna color correct under my eyes with the Becca Under Eye Brightener. Like so many people rave about this. And so I was like, okay, I have it. And I haven't used it, so let's use it. See what the hype is all about. I'm so bad at talking while I'm doing my makeup. Is anybody else like that? Like I see all these YouTubers and I'm like, how in the world? Are they able to carry on a full-on conversation? Who is it? I can't remember her name. Makeup, Makeup Mystery Mondays, where she tells like crime, unsolved crime stories and stuff. Like it's a full-on story or people who do story times while they're doing their makeup or like that kind of stuff. Like I don't know how people do it. Like I said, I am not one of the talented few that can do talking and putting makeup on at the same time. But here we go. <laughs> Let's talk about what I've been up to lately. It probably hasn't been anything. Let's see. I have the shade Macaroon. 
macaroon yeah macaroon and custard in the huda beauty stick foundations this one is custard 220 and oh that is a lot darker than i thought okay and here is macaroon 220 30 and oh both of those are a lot darker than I was expecting. I'm gonna have to go in with 220 and custard since this is the lighter one but let's go in. These feel very silky but oh my gosh you can see my pores and everything. I'm gonna blend out one side with a brush. This is the Sigma Kabuki 3D HD brush. So what have I been up to? Well, I've just been trying to pump out videos as you guys have seen and I've just gotten a lot of amazing feedback from you all. Thank you so much for just your support and everything with me uploading a lot lately. It's helped just, you know, motivate me to continue to post. Let's see, as I'm blending this out, it's blending in a little bit better. And as you can see, I'm like not, I'm, I'm trying to like rub it in. Let's go in with a microfiber sponge on the other side. This is the Juno & Co. Definitely gonna get more coverage, I think, with the sponge. But I've been trying to upload a lot more and just be more consistent, which I haven't been in the past couple of years just because of my mental health, my depression, my anxiety, just like so much going on in my personal life. And I know I keep asking you guys about whether to do a personal mental health Q&A, that kind of a thing. All right, this is definitely not giving me enough coverage. Let's go in with, I have this stick foundation as well. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation. I've never used this either. This one's in the shade Shell Bisque. So like I said, I'm trying to be more consistent and I know I haven't been in the past and it's just been like all of April. Probably was the best month I've had in a long time. If you guys don't know, and I can't remember if I've mentioned it or not, I've been on antidepressants for two years and it's something that definitely took me a long time to make a decision about and I'm happy I did because it was definitely the thing that I needed. I was doing therapy for a really long time. I'd been in therapy since 2016 and I just felt like there were other things that I needed to add on to make therapy work for me even more. So I'm going to go in with some concealer. I really need to spot conceal. I have my Tarte Shape Tape and this is in a, it's a darker shade. I'm going to go in and conceal. This foundation is not looking that cute. And sorry, I keep looking down. It's so I can see what exactly I'm doing. But it definitely, you know, I definitely did therapy first just to make sure I didn't need medication, but I definitely did. And I've been diagnosed with several other um, mental health issues that I was not aware of before. And just having like that extra help with the medication has just helped me so so much so i was on one medication for two years and it stopped working like i started getting bad side effects like the side effects were worse than it actually helping me at all so i switched medications and i mean i've switched and it's been let's see a couple months now maybe a month or two that i've switched and switching was very <laughs> interesting. I'm going to go in with the Juvia's Place Concealer. Like I said, I've used, I did a review on this, but I don't remember at all what I think. And this is very light. Oh my goodness. Oh, this one's in the shade 21. Like I said, it's very, very light. What was I talking about? See, I end up losing my train of thought. Once I start putting makeup on, I lose my train of thought and everything. <laughs> oh geez, this is very pigmented. Like I said, the side effects of the medication were worse and I was not getting any therapeutic effect from the medication anymore. So we switched over to a new medication and that was so difficult for me. It gave me an insane migraine. 
and that was just very traumatizing in itself but I made it through that transition and I've just been on that medication and it's just been like a lot to get used to and like I said April was seriously the best month that I've had in a super super long time. I'm gonna go into my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Like I haven't been that happy in years. Years. Like it's been oh my gosh so so long and I was like oh my gosh this is just exactly what I needed and this is exactly how I used to feel before um everything went down <laughs> with my ex-fiance and just like other traumatic things that happened in my life which I can talk about maybe I just I'm still really hesitant about it like I want to talk about it but at the same time I don't want to be judged for the mental health issues that I have but I can tell you I have five mental health issues and like I said I I really want to talk about it because I think it would be helpful for a lot of people to know that hey like someone else out there is dealing with the same things that I'm going through. I'm going in with my Maybelline Superstay powder you know that kind of a thing like and it's just encouraging to like cause I even myself watch videos about people who have the same mental health issues that I do and just like making sure it's like it's validating to see someone else has the same experience as you it's like okay I'm not nuts I'm not crazy and like someone else is also going through the same stuff that I am so that's I kind of want to do that for you guys as well I go in with my best MA uh, bronzer I forgot I love this bronzer I don't think you can get it anymore but I just really don't like it so nice my brother picked this out for me in my brother picks my makeup video if you haven't seen that definitely check it out but this is just like the perfect bronzer shade for me but I just want to be like encouraging to anybody else who is going through some of the same things that I'm going through and some of the issues that I'm dealing with like the biggest one I can talk about um, that I feel comfortable sharing is PMDD which is um premenstrual dysphoric disorder and it affects your hormones your cycle like it's PMS on another level and that has been so difficult so since my last cycle my mood has changed completely like I feel crappy all over again like it messed up like I feel like I'm back at the start and my medication is not working so I'm trying to figure out what exactly is going on if it's the PMDD if it's my hormones what exactly it is I feel like I'm breaking out a lot more it just hasn't been fun in that way I go in with my Sigma Corte Rosa palette let's go in with this shade nearly wild so it's just been like I don't know discouraging and I felt really down in the dumps lately oh that is pigmented that is way more pigmented than I thought okay I'm going to powder puff I'm gonna blend that out so if any of you also suffer from PMDD let me know if you want me to talk about it more um because it has changed and helped me realize so many things that I've gone through and it's just continued to get worse and worse as I've gotten older. Oh my gosh, this blush is so pigmented. So I've just been dealing with that and it's just been really discouraging, just feeling like I'm back at square one. I'm gonna go in with my Becca highlighter in Champagne Pop. It's the one I just grabbed just now, so we're gonna go with it. Oh, actually is the color I wanted like a gold highlight we're looking bronzy and glowy today I am here for it yes yes go back in with the shade thistle and then I'm gonna blend this out with med, med. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows eyelashes all that fun stuff off camera and I'll be right back we got the brows, we got the lashes, we got the lip, we 
we got everything on. You guys, I've been obsessed with these Cara Beauty lashes. These are in the style A8. I know I've worn them a couple times, but I seriously love these. They're so dramatic, but they're like wearable. At the same time, I love them so much. And it is an affiliate link, so if you do buy from Cara Beauty, please use my discount code Shwaythinzi Rose for 10% off, I believe, or it's 15% off. Everything will be linked down below. It's always in the description box. On my lips, I have the Sigma Beauty Liquid Lipstick in the shade Cashmere. Love this one as well. I'm just, these are the things that I gravitate towards the most. And that is kind of what I have on my eyes. I'm excited to see my hair color. I haven't seen it. I could only see it like in the shower. Ah! Oh my gosh, this is like the vibe I was going for. And you see what I mean? Like it just does not stick to the purple for some reason, but I think it looks kind of cool with the purple and everything. Wow. This is gonna be so fun. <gasps> I'm so excited. Like I said, I haven't told my boyfriend that I dyed my hair blue. And this Iro Iro or Iro Iro uh, dye smells so good. When you put it on, that's the one thing I love about Arctic Fox. This one is so nice. <gasps> I'm so happy the color stuck. Oh yeah, I'm gonna blow dry my hair, do my hair and everything, and I'll be right back. We're back. Oh my. Ah! You guys, look at my hair. I'm trying not to look at the viewfinder because, oh my goodness so here is the final look what do you guys think this is the color that i was trying to go for originally when i was dyeing my hair and it ended up turning out more to be like a gray blue color and this is like i really wanted a vibrant turquoise blue shade so i'm excited to see my boyfriend's reaction like i said i haven't told him that i'm dyeing my hair today so it'll definitely be a surprise for him but that's kind of what the video is going to be i just wanted to play with makeup sit down and talk to you guys a little bit like i said i want to open up more about my mental health and just kind of talk about you know struggles that i have on the daily like this month of may has just been really really hard for me and i've been having good days bad days mostly bad days days where i just want to sleep all day like i've been so tired lately and i don't know why like i literally am getting so much sleep I don't know why I'm tired it's just been a little bit frustrating and I just haven't been as motivated as I was back in April like literally as soon as my period ended last month it was like a switch went off and where did all my energy go where did all my motivation go it's just been a little bit discouraging in that way so I just wanted to tell you guys that if I don't seem my jolly self in my videos it's just been a little bit difficult and just been kind of like I don't know what to upload lately and I'm kind of in that funk right now where I don't really know what to do so that's kind of where I'm at right now and I wanted to talk to you guys about that a little bit but as always please let me know what types of videos you want me to do I try to be on top of makeup releases and all that kind of stuff if you want me to do more chit chat story time videos definitely let me know if you guys haven't seen my last video i did a video with my younger brother and that was a lot of fun you guys were so sweet to him with that it was he was so cute it was so fun having him in my video so i want to incorporate more people on my channel or more collaborations or i guess more like story times <laughs> everybody has a story you know it's like i've worked so many different types of jobs before in the past I've lived in Germany. I am the oldest sister to two younger brothers. Like I've had an ex-fiance. I have mental health issues. Like I have a boatload of stuff. Like I could do story times for sure if that's something that you guys would be interested in. So let me know if that's something you all would like to watch. But again, uh, thank you all so much for watching and being supportive of me and just subscribing. I'm almost 249,000 subscribers. I just want to get there. I've been stuck at 148,000 for like two years and it's just been like, I'm like, I just want to get over that hump. <laughs> so if you guys could subscribe because many of you viewers are not subscribed. So please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Thank you all so much and have an amazing day. Bye. <laughs>
Your hair color? Yeah. Yeah, I like it. You have my hair? This is the color hair. I was going for. Well, look, it won't like stick hair. to the... It won't stick to this part. Yeah, well, it looks good. Yeah. Yeah, it looks really good. Thank you. <laughs> I like it. <laughs>